And then, uh, would you take 10 for your bat? Do you have more of these too? Oh wow, yeah, I just saw all those. There's certain ones you're looking for? Eh, just, you know, like classic rock. Yeah, that's this whole thing. It's yeah. from the 80s. What, did you do like five bucks for all of them? Or I can just pick out certain ones I want, either way. Um, yeah, I'll double, yeah, I don't think so. Look at that, see there's poison. Like, I don't have a tape player anymore. So, that was the thing. Um, those square. What you have them for okay, thanks. I'll keep looking around. I'm sure I'll find something else. They've been sitting around for quite a while. That Ryan Worley? Was he a running back? Okay, you'll have to ask Mike because uh, it's not my thing. I'm going to tell you that he's got three of the jerseys and they're all. There's some from Jason Pierre Paul. Berber. Is that Ryan Worley? Um, Roger Worley. Yeah. Roger Worley. Hall of Famer for the Cardinals. Darius Geis. Darius Geis, running back Redskins, and that's Derwin James, um, all-star pro ball cornerback for uh, San Diego, but he's uh, at Florida State. Interesting. And then this is uh, Pierre Paul. Pierre Paul, yeah. 40-20-20. So you're asking 90 for the three, yeah. or I'm sorry, for the four. Would you do 70 if I bought them all? I'd do 80. 80? It's a deal. All right. I owe you five for the tapes. Is there more um, cassettes? Or is it just those two? Those two, they have big box out there, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 85. I'll keep shopping. I'll probably find something else. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you for the bag. Yeah. Sure. I'll leave that there. Okay. I'll keep looking around. I have a little Okay. Or an iPad mini. Okay. Oh, perfect. Thank you. I'm gonna buy your stereo here too for a buck. Thank you. Look at my hands. 
Hi. Hi. I'm going to get your TV. Cool. Um, Which one is it? Like? This one right here. Somebody did buy it already. Okay. Sorry. All right. No problem. You know if these have been linked to the Cricut? Those are old school Cricut cartridges. They okay. have not been linked. Okay. I'll take them. All right. Ten bucks. Uh, six. Six bucks. Sorry. That's all right. It's too early for math. Yeah. It's early and hot. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. So have a great day. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jaren, is that you? Hey, man. Oh, hey, how's it I going? thought it was you. <laughs> you find anything? Uh, nothing like crazy. They got broken and dented up bats for $5 oh, each. Yeah, I saw that. If you want those. I that, yeah. This one, if it wasn't dented all the heck in back, would yeah. be a good bat. I've never seen. The, I don't know how that I've happened. Seen how that, yeah. Something like that. I've never seen that happen before. I've seen a lot of stuff. What's the blue tape again? I can't remember. There's a right over on the Oh, side right in front of me. Five list. bucks. Yeah, I don't think so. Take all my changes there. Well, I got you, Jaren. Jaren, I got you. Oh, okay. Cool. Fine. I just going to be here for a minute. I just set this for a second. Here's a 10, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5. There you go, man. Yeah, appreciate that. No problem. Yeah. Right. Very crisp dollar bills. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I just printed them. <laughs> How much is your mirror? Hey, see you, man. Two bucks. Two bucks. I'll buy that. Right. I'm gonna get your jersey for five. All right. And seven. then, uh, would you take ten for your bat? Hmm. I'll tell you what. Uh, can we do? If it was the last day, I'd absolutely do it. Okay. Uh, well, I owe you seven. How about, about, how about? Excuse me. Will you do fifteen on that? Okay, so it's 22. Okay. That works. Thank you. you want your hanger back? Uh, no, you can have a hanger. Okay. Ma'am, did, did you want to pay for those? I don't know if No, no, that's okay. That's fine. I, I just try to take the load off of her, but if you're still looking, that's fine. All right. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
Good luck with the sale. Thank you very much. What do you want on your Moosehead beer sign? I saw there was an old tag on there. Um, not much. So, uh, 29th. No, we don't want 29th for it, that's for sure. Um, five? I do three. That's fine. Three okay, I appreciate five. it. So you guys buy all the storage units and stuff? Yeah, we buy oh, a little fun. bit of everything. So, yeah. And, and uh, you know, I'm going to leave that out for now. Sure. All right. Do you have, do you have uh, hands? I think I can get it. Yeah, appreciate it. Good luck to you. I hope the weather stays good for you guys. Yeah, likewise. Back at the warehouse, and although I didn't have a huge haul of stuff today, I'm really happy with the pieces I got. Let's take a look. All right, first sale of the day is really where I did the best. I got this whole box of vintage cassette tapes. Some good titles in here, too, like U2, John Mellencamp, ZZ Top. There's a bunch of them in here, and then there's more in here, too. She was wanting a quarter a piece for them, and I offered five bucks for all of them, and she was cool with that. These aren't worth, like, huge money. I'll probably make lots of, like, 20 or 30, and, you know, once it's all said and done, I might be able to sell them for 60 or 70 bucks. Also got this, like, carrying case of eight track tapes for five dollars. Um, this probably wasn't a good buy, if I'm being honest. I mean, this one's got tape on it, just keeping it together. Since they were Beatles, I went ahead and bought them. There's four Beatles ones. Uh, actually, five Beatles ones. But I don't even know if these things are playable. I have no way of testing them, so just probably going to list them as is. I might list the five for like 20 or $25, something like that. And then this one's like stuck to the bottom. I'm not even going to try to get that off. Doesn't seem like it's anything special. Also at that sale, I got this Sony CD player, a little boombox for a dollar. Antenna seemed like it was in good condition. Most of the time, those are broken. A lot of times I see the speakers themselves have like dents or something, but this one seemed like it was in pretty good condition. So that was a good pickup. Those usually sell for about 25 bucks. Okay, by far the best find at that sale was the autograph memorabilia. This down here is a Jason Pierre Paul signed South Florida helmet. And he was in college and played for the South Florida Bulls. Uh, it has JSA authentication. He was asking 40 on that and then 20, I think it was like 20, 20, and 10 on the jersey, so like 90 bucks. I offered 70, he counted with 80, and I went ahead and took it. And the jerseys, this one is a Darius Geis. Looks like this one is actually Leaf Authentics, but I think the other ones are all JSA. Uh, this, this one he told me, and now I can't remember. Uh, it's a Florida State player, number three. I don't know if James Winston was number three, but I don't think that's James Winston. And then uh, I think he said this is Roger Welch, uh, Ohio State Buckeye. And that also has the JSA authentication. I think I can sell these four pieces for around $250, $300 maybe. All right, at another sale, I got this Ken Griffey Jr. Cincinnati Reds jersey. It's the Majestic brand. And I think it's a large or extra large. Yeah, XL. Uh, I paid five bucks for that. That should bring 30 bucks or so. Also got this Louisville Slugger commemorative Babe Ruth bat for $15. At that same sale, I got this uh, Eagle Mirror for $2. That'll go in the antique booth. And I also got this Moosehead beer sign for three. And that'll go in the antique booth as well. At one sale, I saw these Disney Cricket cartridges, uh, $3 each. They were complete inside, and I asked if she ever linked them with a Cricut machine, and she said no. So I just took her word for it and paid the three dollars each. These sell for about forty or fifty dollars each, and the reason I knew to pick them up and why I knew to ask if they had been linked is because I saw them on Ben's channel, Ready Set Resell. He's a fellow reseller here in Cincinnati, and I've learned a lot from the guy. So if you guys haven't watched Ben's channel before, I highly recommend checking it out. I'm going to put a link down below in the description. I picked up this uh, old metal case, Swing Spout Repikits, I guess. I don't know. It says Plumber's Kit. They wanted five, and I offered three. I counted with four, and I accepted. just thought it was a cool old box with you know, some good graphics. That'll probably go in the antique booth. I don't know. I might put it on eBay. Got this Gruen watch for eight dollars uh, new in the box i've never sold gruen before but i know they sell for pretty good money so i figured eight dollars was a good price for that got this u.s marines monopoly uh, this is actually selling for some really good money used ones are going for like 30 40 bucks 
paid two dollars for this unfortunately the box is in really bad shape all the corners are kind of busted so i'm probably only going to get maybe 20 25 for this but for two bucks i couldn't pass it up all right i just sat down to list these i was totally wrong this is an ohio state this is the cardinals and it's roger worley and this one is darwin james that's it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time